George would sit or stand on the sideline and watch the game and always think of what he would do. And then the minute he got in there, in those days, the quarterback called his own plays, he would just go to them. On October 25, 1970, 43-year-old George Blanda replaced injured Oakland quarterback Darrell LaMonica. The Raiders rolled to a come-from-behind win. All in all, in about the two and a half, three quarters we were in there, we moved the ball pretty well, scored 34 points, I think, and, and we beat them 34 to 14 or something like that. Here's the bootleg now by Dawson running to the right himself. He got a first down. The following week, the Raiders renewed their friendly rivalry with the defending Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. Gone by one of the Chiefs. Two more Chiefs come in. There's a big pile up. Davidson and Taylor are going at it. There are at least eight Chiefs. Here come all the Raiders. Holy Toledo. It's a free for all. Into this battle zone came Blanda to attempt a 48-yard field goal to salvage a tie. They had a big six-foot-nine tight end. Morris Stroud was his name, and they set him under the goalpost. And when I kicked the ball, he took a jump at the ball and almost hit it. Good! It's good! It is good! He was older than most of our coaches, you know, so George had that special ability to, to come in and, and perform under pressure. Not many athletes are gifted with that ability, and George had that. One week later, the Raiders needed a fourth quarter touchdown for a tie. George said, he said, I'll tell you what. He said, if you let me throw three slants to Warren Wells, I'll guarantee you a touchdown. Blanda back to pass. Blanda looks, Blanda throws. Complete touchdown, Wells. Raiders score. He had a God-given killer instinct when the game was on the line. George Blanna wanted the football or wanted to be kicking the football because he could win. Here it is. Snap. Spot it. It's kicked. That's got a chance. That is good. It's good. Holy Toledo. George Blanda has just been elected king of the world. Everyone could associate with him. You know, I mean, young people would look up to him and say, look at what this guy is doing. Old people would say, how the hell is he doing that? The next week, Father Time drove the Raiders 80 yards in the game's closing seconds for a winning touchdown. If we uh, gave some people in the middle age group a little hope that they can do and accomplish anything they want to, if they want it hard enough, then my season of 70 was worth, uh, was worthwhile. But uh, I didn't think anything, I thought I was 21. On November 22nd, George Blanda decided his fifth straight football game, cementing his place in NFL history. He played until he was 48, retired with more than two dozen NFL records, and always came through when it counted. He was, I think, the greatest clutch player that the game has ever known.